So before we jump into this video, let me say this video is being sponsored by Newer. They sent me their 800 watt 2.4G Studio Strobe Flash Kit. The kit comes with two 26 by 35 soft boxes, a five in one reflector for studio photography, and two umbrellas. So what I like about this studio kit is you know your selected settings at a glance with its backlit LCD panel. It also has a swivel stand bracket to get optimal light, and it's easy to carry from one place to another using the top handle. So whether you use it for a video like me or for photography, this is the perfect studio kit, whether you are a beginner or a professional. So check out Newer. They're pro quality products with amateur prices. You've seen that thumbnail, you've seen that title. We doing garlic pepper wings. Need I say more? Get in your kitchen, let's go. Okay, let's do a quick roll call of what we have. So right here we have our chicken wings. We have some milk right here. This is whole milk. We have some flour, an egg, some canola oil here. We have some vinegar, garlic powder, Old Bay seasoning. Now, if you don't have Old Bay seasoning, use some seasoned salt or some kind of all-purpose seasoning, some pepper, salt, freshly chopped garlic, garlic butter right here, and I have some garlic-infused olive oil. So these are the ingredients. Let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add like a tablespoon of olive oil. I mean canola oil. I'm sorry, guys. This is canola oil. And we're going to mix our chicken up like that just real quick. And then we're going to come across that with our Old Bay seasoning. Now, guys, I was going to bake these. And then I called the Audible. There's a reason why I had that canola oil out there. But I'm going to call the Audible and I'm going to put these babies in a deep fry. Now you can bake them if you want to bake them. You're going to need a little bit more canola oil to kind of drizzle over top of it once you lay them down on, or spread them out over your pan. But since we're only going to fry them, I'm just using it. Uh, canola oil just as a binder to get that, keep that uh, seasoning on those wings once we drop them in. All right, so we're going to move this aside, bring over our milk, and we're just going to take our egg and add it here with the milk to make our egg wash. And we're just going to get that mixed in like that. And likewise, we're gonna move this aside, bring over a clean bowl. We're gonna add our flour. We're gonna hit that with some old Old Bay seasoning, a little pepper, and a little garlic powder. And we're gonna get this whisked up too. Just like that. Now we're gonna bring our chicken back into the shot. All right, so we're gonna do some dipping right now to get our wings all battered up. So we're gonna take our chicken, gonna dip it in the egg wash first. Then over here to the flour, get it covered real well. And we're gonna take it, the wing, and I'm gonna place it on a rack over here by my deep fryer, all right? And we're just gonna do the rest of them the same way. You guys understand how we do this egg wash, then flour. Now, if you wanna double dip it, you can. I don't see, see a real reason to do that for this particular recipe. So now all the wings are breaded. I have my oil heating up in my deep fryer. We're gonna head over there so we get these babies dropped in. It should be ready in about a couple of minutes. I thought I was filming, but it looks like I wasn't, so I've already dropped them in. I just dropped them in. We're gonna let these babies cook for about seven to 10 minutes. I have some small wings, so mine's probably staying there for about, about maybe about eight minutes. But we'll see, we always know once they start floating to the top, they're good to go. All right guys, so we're there, take a look at our chicken, it's risen to the top, and look at that color on it too. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna add these chicken pieces to our, to a little wide rack here, to let them drain and I'm gonna sit it in our warmer because right now we're going to start preparing our sauce. All right, so let's move over to our cooktop. We're gonna heat up our olive oil. And we're gonna bring that up to temperature. As that comes up to temperature, we're gonna add our garlic butter. We're gonna add our minced garlic. And we're gonna cook this for about 30 seconds to a minute. Not that long, we just wanna get that garlic fragrant. All right, guys, it looks like we're good, so I'm gonna turn off all heat. We're gonna head over to our cutting board and we're gonna finish this off. All right, so you can take a bowl or either measuring cup. I'm gonna use this measuring cup and I'm going to add 
our garlic mixture to this, like that. We'll take our vinegar, add it, along with our garlic powder, our kosher salt, and our black pepper. And we're just gonna get that a mix, just like that. All right, so now we're gonna grab our chicken pieces and we're gonna get these baby sauce stuff. I'm gonna throw them or put them, place them, whatever you wanna call it, into our bowl right here, just like that. We're gonna take our garlic pepper sauce. Let's go ahead and do a little shake and bake of these babies. But take a look at that. Oh man. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get these babies on the plate and get them sauced up so we can jump into quality control. Guys, there you have it. Garlic, pepper, wings. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and jump into quality control because it's time to test them out. I already know they fire. All right, yes, we are here quality control. Man, take a look at that baby there. Man, look at all that garlic. Ah, let's go ahead and do it. Am I in wing heaven yet? Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh man. What y'all want me to say? I'm the king. Just check these babies out. Guys, you're gonna enjoy them. So until the end, I'm your cook, Spinelli. All wings, everything. And remember, not chef. Just cook a lot. And I'm gonna get back to eating this wine. And I'm out. Peace.